Hello everyone, welcome back to another great beginner series tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this motorcycle. This is going to be completely for beginners. I will try to explain every step I take and I will try to make it as simple as possible. Remember to watch my other beginner series tutorial. If you want more hot surface content, you can check my Gumroad and Patreon. So now, let's get started. I will start with the image planes, click on the middle mouse and go to the front view, press shift and V, go to back and select the image plane, I will select the front one, let's give some transparency like 75%, then I will do the same thing again, go to right view and select the side one with some transparency. Let's start from the tires, I will click on this cube and select tube put it over here and change the orientation to plus x first thing let's lower the inner radius to let's say 25 for the outer radius i'm gonna select 42 then we need to check the size from the front view this time i will change my height to let's say 40. I will turn off work plane because it may be annoying. Then I will enable lines so we can see how many points, edges and polygons we have. I will create a subdivision surface because I want this object to be softer. Put the tube under the subdivision surface. Now I want to make some parts sharper. To do that we use loop cuts as supporting edges. But first we need to make this tube editable. Otherwise, I cannot select the edges, polygons, or points of the object. As you can see, if I click on this, that's going to happen. So let's first click on here. It's going to make the tube editable. Or you can simply press C. Now I can select the polygons, edges, and points of that object. Now I will right click and select look at. It doesn't matter if you are on edge, polygon or points mode, it's gonna work on each of them. Select loop cuts and I want specifically this part to be sharper at these loop cuts. Now this is looking nice. Now let's check the inside of that. I will turn off the subdivision surface first and switch to polygon mode. Basically I want to select all these inside polygons and create any object out of this first let's get rid of that loop cut press e then go to selection select loop cut select here then hold down shift and select these as well now right click and say split this is going to create any object now we want to extrude this right click select extrude and enable create caps let's extrude them like that now i want to extrude them one more time but this time let's use something different i will switch to scale mode you can click here or press t then let's go to the right view hold down control and scale these polygons this is going to extrude them i will stop right here Perfect. As I did before, I will add sporting edges to that object. Let's enable subdivision surface. This is not going to work because the subdivision surface will only affect the first object under it, which means that we need to make a single group with these two objects. You can click on this. This is going to create a null. You can put it under the subdivision surface and put the objects under it. Now select the second object, right click, loop cut again and I'm gonna click on here and here, same on the other side, here and here. Now if I change my display to normal one, this is looking great. Maybe we need to scale them on the X so let's switch to model mode 
press E or actually press T or you can click on here and I'm gonna scale these on the X slightly perfect now I will switch to polygon mode these are already selected right click split them we are already in scale mode so I will scale this on the X right now I want to close these holes first let's switch to edge mode double click on this you can either do this in scale mode like hold down control and scale or right click you can select extrude after that I want to merge all these edges into a single one to do that right click and select collapse same thing here select them all pre, uh, double click on edges then switch to scale mode press ctrl extrude then collapse let's press q to enable subdivision surface to see what we got because of these triangles the surface is not perfect but we can fix that with a loop cut like if i had one over here and over here and if I press Q, I should get a perfectly flat and smooth surface. Then let's work on that part. It's going to be really easy. Subdivision surface will do the work for us. First, let's, of course, create a primitive object. It's going to be a cube. Move it over here. I want to scale it. Let's switch to model mode so I can change the scale of the cube with these handles but you should be in the move tool of course press E and be in the model mode then scale the object I will also scale the cube from the front side then make it editable click here or press C and put it under our subdivision surface group switch to polygon mode we don't need these so I'll select them and simply delete now let's go back to the front view this time I will switch to points mode and I will select rectangle selection select these points so the reason that I select rectangle selection because it selects the points that you cannot see like if I select these it's gonna select both of these then move them over here you can move this over here, move these here, and move this over here. Now, as I said, subdivision surface will handle this for us. Press Q, and we nearly got what we want. You may not see the mesh clearly, so let's go to options and turn off isolation editing. Perfect. Now, move this. I believe this is going to be enough. We will need some thickness so first i will turn off subdivision surface switch to polygon mode select all the polygons Control a or go to selection and say select all right click extrude make sure that the create caps option is on and extrude this actually i will undo it and go to the front view and watch my image plane I believe we should stop right over here now if I press Q obviously we will need sporting edges loop cut first one over here and let's say over here you may get these sharp edges this is because the cubes pong angle is not enough so I will select the pong angle of the cube and let's make it like 90 degrees nice now we have something inside first let's turn off subdivision surface switch to model mode press e and i will create another cube move it over here scale it then make it editable click here 
actually before doing editable i need to scale the x of course move it over here let's go to front view and scale it based on the image plane something like that should be enough maybe longer now i can make it editable press c i will switch to points mode and i will again select rectangle selection or you can simply press zero select these press t and scale them like that now i will go to the top points select them and scale them like that to switch between move tool and rectangle selection you can press spacebar now i want the same object on the other side to do that we can of course simply press ctrl and move it over here but in that case i need to work on this twice because i will have sporting edges on this then i need to go to the other one and do the same stuff on this as well so to get rid of this extra work i will create a symmetry first let's select the cube in this case i cannot add a symmetry because the center axis of the cube is not right in the center of my world like this axis should be somewhere around here to do that i will press here or you can press l this is gonna enable me to move the axis of the object like i want this to be somewhere around here open up the coordinates and change the coordinates mode to world and i am gonna set my x to zero now i can turn off the axis mode now i can add a symmetry and put put the cube under the symmetry here i'm gonna delete that one now whatever i do on this one will happen on the other one as you can see this is gonna save you a great deal of time while we are here let's add our supporting edges these and these also i will put my symmetry object under the subdivision surface group press q select the cube i believe this is going to be enough now i will duplicate all these objects because these the rear wheel is identical so select them all press ctrl and move them like that this is going to duplicate this this one is slightly different to select it i mean if the subdivision surface is on you cannot directly select the object you want so turn that off select that one press q again and i will switch to points mode and move these points okay this should be enough also this object is slightly different so i need to rotate it but the object's axis is way off i want this axis to be somewhere like here so i can rotate it easily to do that again enable axis and move it over here actually we can enable snap click here open up options of the snap and you can see that the point is on so if i move it over around the, that point it's gonna snap it now i can turn off axis and turn off snap this time i will click here rotate mode and rotate my object like that then i will switch to points mode i need to select the cube rectangle selection select all these points and move them over here now i need to connect these two objects to do that let's switch to polygon mode select these polygons 
remember hold down control if you remember these cubes axis was perfectly in the center of my world so if i set this polygons position to zero on the x the symmetry will still work so let's go to the coordinates and type in zero and press enter all i need to do now delete these center polygons delete let's press q to enable subdivision surface it's not perfect because we don't have any supporting edges around here you know these are looking great because we have supporting edges over here but not here so i will get rid of these edges i want this part to be softer so let's switch to points mode right click select slide hold down control and merge that point to that one i will be doing for these as well so now if i press q i will get a rounder shape which is exactly what i want the shape is not exactly the same so let's select this one more time and enable subdivision surface move them over here then i'm gonna select these and select these as well and move them like that same here actually i will only select these move them over here move them over here and move them over here now let's work on this part i will create a cube one more time and i'm gonna make it editable immediately click here and we are not gonna need these polygons just delete them i will first try to create an outline of this shape so we don't need anything inside and same here now i will switch to points mode press zero or you can select the rectangle selection from here and i'm gonna move that point over here then this one i can move it over here actually let's select this bot these are perfect of flat let's not destroy that then i'm gonna move it over here then move this over here select these and move them here actually let's move it over here i will select all of them press ctrl a go to the front view press t scale mode and scale them just like that now i will switch to edge mode select that edge but i'm gonna change my mode to move so that i can press ctrl and move these edges here then i'm gonna do that one more time and same here let's select that edge go to the right view press ctrl and click on that triangle and move it up now all we need to do extrude these polygons so let's switch to polygon mode select them all ctrl a right click and select extrude create caps option is on and extrude them this is not exactly what we want so i will switch to points mode again rectangle selection select the points and move the points based on the image plane perfect we got the base now we need to extrude more now i will switch to polygon mode press e and hold down shift select these polygons i will right click this time i will do something different i will select inset and let's see i will make an inset something like that 
Perfect. Now I need to push these outside. To do that, right click, select normal move, and move them just like that. To be sure, let's switch to the right view. Undo and do it one more time. Okay, not bad. You now the top points should be scaled. So select these with rectangle selection. Scale tool and let's scale them from the front view. Okay, now let's take a look at the inside. Switch to polygon mode, press E, hold down shift, select these polygons. I will split this, right click, split, and again I'm gonna extrude this, select extrude, right click. And let's make something like that. Then points mode, rectangle selection, and play with the points. Here, I should select that polygon, switch to polygon mode, press E on the selected polygon. Let's switch to the right view, press Ctrl and move that polygon. As you can see, when I extrude, it is not perfectly straight because of the axis. So I should change my axis mode to world. To do that, right click on one of the axes and select world. Now if I extrude, it's going to be perfectly straight. Press Ctrl, extrude. Now I will switch to points mode. Press 0 to select rectangle selection and move the, these points. Now I will hold down control and select the other mesh because I want to select these points and I want to move these up. Perfect. Now I'm gonna only select that polygon, press E, switch to polygon mode. Now scale tool and scale this polygon on the X to make a rounder shape. Okay, I think we are ready to add sporting edges. Let's start from this one. Of course, these need to be in the subdivision surface group, so put it under that group. Right click, select loop cut. First one, the obvious ones are here, here, and here, of course. Then I'm gonna click on here here and here it looks like we need to add these as well and this one now we have the other one i'm gonna put that under my subdivision group as well let's start from here here actually let's turn off subdivision surface and enable lines let's make these sporting edges similar to the other one press q and change the view for the normal one first of all we got these sharp edges one more time, which we don't like. So go to the font tag of the object and increase that to something like 90. Same thing happens on the other one. Select that and increase that. I want an extra sharpness on these polygons. To do that, first let's solo it and select on these polygons hold down shift select them right click and select inset and make something like that this is gonna make this part sharper press q and this is exactly like what i want i want to do the same thing on the other cube select this one click on solo one more time 
then select these inside polygons only hold down shift select these right click insert and i will say apply this is gonna apply the previous inset apply press q now this is looking more organic these are like single object now let's turn off solo and work on this seat because right now it is not looking that great so first let's press q and see try to see what's going on first thing as you can see these double edges are creating some stress or you can see it these are too sharp so i should get rid of that edge loop double click on that right click dissolve it now i am gonna shift that shift these supporting edges to the inside i'm gonna select all these polygons then i'm gonna make an inset like that make sure that the maximum angle is larger than 90 degrees otherwise you are gonna get separate selections so i add that up then to give some smoothness i will move these polygons with normal move tool like that maybe we can only select that edge and move it over here then let's press q check the right view it looks like we will need supporting edge right somewhere around here and another one to the here now i can switch to points mode select all these points and let's see i can move them over here push these up move these okay this is looking much better now let's double click on that edge loop press t and scale them on the x this is gonna give us more rounder shape all right this is looking nice for me now let's try to model the seat and we can get that seat out of that object i will switch to polygon mode hold down shift select these four polygons right click split it's going to create any one i will switch to edge mode press e select that edge and i'm gonna move it over here yes exactly switch back to polygon mode right click select extrude and i'm gonna extrude them just like that i will press q and this is not exactly what we want first thing first this part should be sharper so i'm gonna right click select loop cut and add loop cut right here then the bottom part should be sharper because it is a continuous shape from uh, that one right if i add one over here it's gonna look better i will leave the top as it is because now it looks very soft which you want maybe we can move that edge loop as well to make the shape smoother it is looking great but um, you know it doesn't look exactly like it is sitting on this object so i will go back to this and follow them and i will make a kind of a supporting edge to make the edges sharper first let's work on that double click on the solo mode fortunately we have points or edges i just need to shift that end to here to do that i will right click select line cut and also i will enable single line start from here go here and go here then i will do the same thing on the other side connect these for here let's first connect this this is going to create a triangle of course but i will make another line between them then i will switch to points mode right click select slide and move these like that 
now I can get rid of these edges. So basically we have shifted these two edges to here so that these are gonna act like sporting edges on the top. Right click, dissolve. So if I press, press Q, this is gonna give me a better result like now this one, the seat is looking like it is sitting right on that object. I need to do the same thing on that one as well. Press Q, turn off subdivision surface. So let's switch to points mode. We have the same situation. We need to shift these edges to here. To do that, you know, I should switch to edge mode, uh, points mode, line cut, start from here, then go here, then I'm gonna click here, same here. Now we have these two triangles, which means that I can connect this on them, switch to points mode, right click, slide, and select this. Maybe we can switch to edge mode, select the edges. Like that, then this one. Slide. Okay, now we should get something similar. Yes, exactly. Let's turn off the subdivision surface, turn off solo, switch to model mode, press E, and I'm gonna select that one because I'm gonna split some polygons from that one. I'm gonna click on these two polygons. Actually, let's make it only one. Right click, split. I'm gonna switch to front view because we need to scale this. Press T or press here. Scale. Now I will check the right view. Let's press E and move this up to see where we are. That edge is looking good, but we need to move that edge so I'm gonna move it over here then click here to switch to polygon mode right click extrude extrude to here then I will press E to switch to move tool because I want to extrude one more time hold down control move then switch to points mode, switch to select rectangle selection, select these points, move them up over here. Now let's see, press Q. Obviously, sporting edges we will need, right click, loop cut, first one will be over here. Then here, here, and here. After that, maybe we can make an inset. Then I will press E, right click on the axis and change it to normal. Press Ctrl and extrude them. Skew. Pretty nice. Then we can split that polygon. Right click, split. I'm gonna use these for the handles. I will make an inset. Let's see. Yes, something like that, but I need to slide some of the edges. Select that edge, right click, slide, then slide that as well. I am basically trying to get a rectangular polygon in the middle so that it is gonna give me a rounder shape like similar to cylinder when I subdivide my mesh but first let's go to selection and invert to selection and delete this I'm gonna select that right click extrude let's see I'm gonna extrude them like that then I will press E to switch to move tool hold down control move this 
polygons over here then we are good in the front view but we should also check the right view i'm gonna move them to the right then i will press ctrl and move them for the last time it looks like we need to move these slightly up like that then maybe we can move this okay as i said if i subdivide that i should get a cylindrical shape press q if i add sporting edges i believe we are gonna get what we want first one over here 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 and here middle part is looking skinnier than the other parts because you can see it the size of the polygon is larger than these ones so i'm gonna select this right click on the axis and change it to world and i should also select these as well and push them to the left so it is going to increase the length of the polygon so if i press q this is gonna look like more like a cylinder so the key is to have a rectangular polygon to get a cylindrical shape when you subdivide it i want to make a loop selection selection loop selection right click again split switch to edge mode double click on this move them over here i will press t or you know click here this time i want these edges to be perfectly straight to do that first scale then hold down shift this is gonna snap the percentage of the scale and i'm gonna scale this to zero percent so they're gonna be perfectly straight in the world coordinates now let's go back to polygon mode these are already selected right click and extrude press q supporting edges we need like here and here also i want to add to the inside if you can't see the inside you can solo the object but you need to turn off the side of the surface one here and one here turn off solo and press q okay not bad then i want these objects to be on the left side to do that we are going to use symmetry first let's check the center axis i'm going to select this one it looks like the x is right on point you can see it from here it is zero and this one is also in zero so i can bring a symmetry object and put these under it nice no I should bring that as well but it's not gonna work why because just like the subdivision surface the symmetry only affects the first one so i should make a group select these two press alt and g that's all i will put that symmetry under my subdivision surface group and enable subdivision surface now i want to make the top part more flat so that this thing is going to look like it is sitting on that one so let's switch to edge mode double click on this right click i will select slides move this up as i move this up the top part will be flatter just like that that means that i should do the same thing on this one So now these two edges are getting too closer. If I go too much, it's going to mess up the geometry. So I'm going to undo, right click, select the slide one more time. This time we are going to have the attributes of the edge slide tool. Instead of fixed distance, I'm going to select proportional. So this way my slide will be based on the edges around my selection like if i go too much it's not gonna exceed that edge. turn off the subdivision surface press q now let's look at that light press q select that one polygon mode 
select the polygon, right click, split, check the front view. It looks like we need to scale it on the X and then right click, extrude over here. I'm gonna press T and scale that polygon. Then I'm gonna make an inset, press E, hold down control and move this polygon like that. Press Q. Obviously, we will need supporting edges here, 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 and here. Maybe we can add this as well. For the inside, these are already selected. I will split these just like we did before. Then this time I will press Ctrl and extrude them. Perfect. Now let's check the rear side. I will follow the same principles. I will just split the polygons I needed from existing ones. Like I can select that one, switch to polygon mode. Let's see if these are gonna be enough. Yeah, it looks like maybe I can include this as well. Then right click, split, right click, extrude all the way over here. The you may want to make the polygons perfectly flat. To do that, press E, select the polygon. Make sure that your axis is set to world. Right click on one of the axes, then press T, scale the polygon, then press Shift and scale it to zero. Same on here, scale, then hold down Shift, scale to zero. It looks like we need to move this up. I can also scale the edge loops. Double click on this, press T, scale, then hold down Shift. And that's all. This time, let's make something different. I will switch to polygon mod, select these two polygons, right click, inset. Then, actually, let me solo that. I will right click, select bridge. This time, I will change my view to light so we can see the inside. While you are in bridge tool, I will connect these two points here. Now we are going to get this shape. Kind of solo. This time the supporting edges, press Q, right click, loop cut, here, 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 and here. Now let's add some outside and inside. We have already this one, so I will just move it up. Now let's split another part from that polygon, press 3, select that one, right click, split. As you can see, this isn't looking that great. We need to straighten some of the edges, like this one, select it, press T, scale, then press Shift, scale it to zero, same here. Then while we are in edge mode, select that edge. Switch to move tool, then move that edge over here. Let's see, yes, here. Then I'm gonna select that edge. It looks like it should be somewhere around here. Then that edge should be here. Now I can switch to polygon mode, right click and extrude. Here. The, our shape is slightly different than the image plane. Let's select the polygon only with rectangle selection. Move it over here. Press E, select top polygon, press Ctrl and move this up. For the top part, I will go to selection, make a loop selection, select these. I want to extrude these. 
if you want to extrude without caps i uh, usually use scale tool click here or press t press ctrl and scale these polygons just like that let's press q to enable subdivision surface right click loop cut Hit the supporting edges and I'm gonna add one over here it's maybe here and here perfect now let's model these straps to do it I'm gonna model these from the box so I will make another duplicate of this box press ctrl and duplicate is one cube seven now in the next cube i will add these loop cuts one here and one here selection loop selection on the select these ones go back to selection and invert the selection then delete you may want to make these edges perfectly straight double click on this press t scale to zero same here then you will need some thickness switch to polygon mode control a right click extrude extrude them just like that but it looks like the maximum angle is supposed to be larger than 91. I will undo that, Control Z, and increase it to maybe 108. Now it should work. Yes. I'm going to stop right here. Press Q. And this is looking nice, but to make it more organic, I'm going to double click on these edges, Alt down Shift. I'm gonna dissolve this and for the bottom parts I will go to right view press 0 move this down press Q I should move this down more then as I did before I will only this time only dissolve that edge loop double click on it right click dissolve press q i believe i should move that up no opposite like that let's not forget here double click dissolve and dissolve as well Move that down. I'm gonna add some loop cuts over here to make it more defined. Now I can switch to model mode, press E. Now the center axis is way off. Actually, it's not a problem. I can press Ctrl and move it over here. But if you want to set this axis center to where it should be you can go to tools axis axis center and say execute now press control and duplicate now i will only select the box press q to disable subdivision surface select the box actually you can change its axis again, axis center, execute, press Q and move it over here okay now everything is looking great you can keep the symmetries as they are but I usually when I am done with modeling I make them editable press C Then we can take these out of the symmetry nulls and delete the empty nulls.
these are not necessary anymore in the next step i will check the normals turn off subdivision surface or you can keep it as it is select all the objects switch to polygon mode then press ctrl a it looks like most of the objects normals are flipped when they are yellow it means they are okay but when you see this blue color that means that these are flipped to fix it let's start from the bottom all of the polygons are selected right click and say reverse normals select the next one this one should be flipped as well right click reverse normals this one is looking good this one also good this one should be flipped right click reverse normals All right, the normals are fixed. All right, guys, that was it. Uh, I hope you liked the tutorial and learned something new. Remember to practice a lot and you can also watch my other beginner series tutorials. So that was it for today and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye.